This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. For Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and also comment. I appreciate all my Libras out here. For my cross watches, this energy can be resonated. So just be a little aware of that as you're tuning in. So for a lot of my Libras, this is you rebranding yourself. Somebody could be 42. We got becoming something new. So for a lot of my Libras, this is definitely the comeback period for you. A lot of you are showing people what you're made of, something different. Somebody can have a 12 year old. We got planning something new. So for a lot of my Libras, we got bec becoming something new. Then we got planning something new. So for a lot of you, you could be showing the world a different side of you. A lot of you are business owners now. A lot of you are stepping into your prime. A lot of you are moving up in your careers. I'm seeing a lot of good things happening for Libra. We have the power to give and receive healing. Okay, so for a lot of my Libras, this is you allowing yourself to heal and also, you know, having those healing abilities for others. I'm seeing something really big happening for Libra. I am still doing five for five questions for Libra. The cash app is D-E-E-F-O-N-D-E-L. The email is there, findell at gmail.com. Of course, you can check out the description below for more. Somebody could be 39. We got a big miracle coming in for my Libra. So for my Libras that are in need of a miracle or just for something to kind of work out for them, I'm seeing something come in. We got the power of self-love. This is you learning how to love yourself again. Somebody could be 27. For a lot of my Libras, I'm seeing that you kind of I'm not going to say, like, don't love yourself, because, of course, my Libras, we're all about self-care, self-love. I'm a Libra myself, for those of you that didn't know. But um, we also can tend to forget about ourselves and put our focus on so many other areas. This could be with a Gemini for some of you. Somebody got a 19-year-old. We got the promise of unending love. So it looks like somebody around you, some of you could be in a relationship, but some of you are single or maybe still dealing with somebody, situationship type of situation. And it looks like this person isn't going anywhere. This could be a Taurus for some of you. We got secrets and discoveries. Somebody could be 22. So it looks like something's coming to light. I don't know if this is your secrets, Libra. I don't know if this is the person that you're dealing with, but there is something coming to light here. We got some Sagittarius energy. Somebody could be 31. We got the purity of purpose. So for a lot of my Libras, this is you discovering your purpose. I keep saying this in a lot of videos because I'm getting that a lot of my Libras are trying to figure out like what the fuck is going on or what's going to work for them. We got some Leo energy. We got the feelings of an awakened heart. So you could still start to show someone a lot of love. For a lot of my Leos, somebody's dealing with a Leo. For a lot of my Libras. You can start to show someone a lot of love. You can show a different side of you. A lot of you were scared to show this side because you felt like maybe it would push this person away or maybe you're in a situation or a friendship right now you're wanting to take to the next level. This could be with an Aquarius for some of you. We got the purity of freedom. Somebody got a four-year-old. This is a lot of my Libras being free mentally. Some of my Libras mentally were so exhausted and I'm getting a lot of you are free now. This could be with a Leo for some of you. Somebody could be 33. We got the pain hidden behind luxury. So we got a Libra out here that's hiding behind their success and behind their money. You know, hiding hot behind the fact that things are going well for them financially and not really dealing with what's really going on inside for a lot of my Libras out here. We got the King of Pentacles. I definitely feel like this is my Libra's energy. This is a masculine energy, but can't go both ways. Of course, my Libras love the King of Pentacles, so this could be who's coming in for you. We got the Death and Rebirth. Somebody can have a 13. <coughs> Excuse me. My bad, Libra. Um, We got Death and Rebirth. Somebody can have a 13 year old. So for a lot of my Libras, this is something coming to an end. For a lot of my Libras, this is coming to a complete end. I don't know if this is a relationship. I don't know if this is a job. Some of you could be moving really soon. Some of you are going to be investing into something. You could have already invested into something. I'm seeing a big outcome with the Seven of Pentacles. We got the Empress. I feel like this is your energy as well, Libra. This could be who's around you. I'm seeing you like manifesting a whole new world, a whole new life. We got the Lovers card. Some of you could be in love right now. This could be what's coming in for you, especially for those of you that are single. Do y'all the first sign to get the lover's card? So for a lot of my Libras, you could be really into someone. This I'm getting all the way around, just everything in general. Or maybe it's just a lot of sexual chemistry. I don't know. Somebody can have a six-year-old. We do got the three of swords, so just protect your heart, Libra. I don't know if this person is ready for what you're ready for. This could be the other way around. You know, take what energy resonates and leave what doesn't for somebody else, of course. Who's coming in for Libra? Who's around Libra? This could be an Aries for some of you. We got some Aries energy here. We got go for it. Somebody's definitely dealing with an Aries. We got some Taurus energy. We got release control. So for a lot of my Libras, if you're in a situation with a Taurus or Aries, you know, maybe you don't have to control the situation or this could be them wanting to control the situation. Not really sure. This could be a Pisces for some of you. We got talk less, feel more. So for a lot of my Libras, 
think before reacting, you know? Actually process what's going on. This could be with a cancer. Let your fears dissolve. Maybe that could be playing a part in why things are the way they are for a lot of my Libras out here. I appreciate every single Libra. Thank you for tuning in. <laughs>